What is up and welcome to Day Day with Ray with me, your girl Ray Ray. So I'm sitting here in my messy, messy, this is y'all stuff, but this is my messy, 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 messy cake corner. It's driving me crazy. I need to get this stuff cleaned up and organized so desperately. Why did I make that face like oh. um so one thing that in case you missed it miss shima if she's watching sent me this a while ago if you don't know what this is this is a cake pop maker and i do i swear shima i'm gonna do a whole video on this again my life is in shambles um and then i got a call tonight so we had karate we didn't get home till 7 30 tonight and that really I was gonna call you Luna. Ready? Really, Kelly? Really? What are you doing? Um, and then just trying to get my life and my house and everything together. It's been a hot mess. But one thing I did want to show you. What is this? Oh, what? What is this? Oh, this was my wish haul. My wish haul that I need to put away. Um, the other day, <laughs> I still have. I told you from Valentine's, the Valentine's Day cake thing. This is my cake dummy. I have it wrapped in a bag. It is, oh my gosh. It is hard, it's hard as a rock. I wonder if I just took, like cut this and slid it off, if it would stay on there. And this, I could just use this as my cake dummy for now on. But I wanna make some, um, I'm gonna use that for some like cute little cakes and stuff. Um, but I do have this too now. That's harder than rock. Okay. Um, I went a while ago when I bought this big mama behind me, which is going to replace, see, I have, look, I'm somebody, I think somebody did ask me to do another what's in my cake corner video because I used to do what's in my videos. Um, so I am going to. I think I'm gonna move this over here. I don't know how well you guys can see it, so now I can't see you guys. I'm gonna move that over here and then try to figure this whole mess out. Try to figure this mess out um, because my stuff is getting so dirty from the fan because the fan's like literally right above me. Oh, we have a light out. Um, but we hit like it gets so dusty and stuff. And then like all this hot mess. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with all this. This is my edible image printer. Me and my husband are still debating if I should actually get a new one because the stuff to fix this and repair it will cost as much as if I just bought a brand new one easier to use this is all the giveaway stuff down here i have stuff down here i'm gonna wash all this too because as you can see kelly is in the pan so i'm going to run it through the dishwasher um and wash it and dry it and everything because that would be very gr gross and rude but please remember when this give away stuff this is all i'm buying with my money like I don't have sponsors I don't you know have anything like that and also some of the stuff I have bought but also a big humongous gigantic shout out I will shout her out in every single video is Miss Kara um, if like I said in another video anytime you see Kara in the comments just thank her because without her like none of this or half of this would not be possible um, oh I was like what is that the cat is playing with um, um, the string. But my cake corner also, you see it all this way, but it also expands this way. So I don't know if I need to like reorganize, like re, I know I need to reorganize, but I don't know if I need to rearrange. Maybe that's something that I should be looking into also is rearranging. Um, 
so yeah I need to figure this out but anyway um tonight I we stopped at the pet store we had to get some stuff for the hamsters and the fish and I ran into Joanne's while they were in the pet store and I got two little things this was the first thing I got um was I got this really pretty I don't know how well you can see it this really pretty cross cookie cutter I just have a basic standard cross cutter um, but I thought this was really pretty and Easter's coming up but I guess you can use this for Easter's um, baptisms whatever so I have this now I've said before I don't like metal cutters but these I do because they're coated and they don't rust so and I'm actually just going to chuck this down in my drawer down here and then the second thing I got first let's see how much was the cutter the cutter was um two dollars oh, gosh um oh no yeah it was two dollars oh, my goodness and then i found this this was twelve dollars and i've never seen it before so i did grab it it is a wilton sugar rider now i don't know if anybody's seen these I don't go to Joann's that often. If I do go to Giffon and stuff, I go to Michael's. I prefer Michael's. I don't have an AC more near me, so I do like AC more too. But I like Michael's as my go-to. Um, but this is a sugar rider. And so I looked at it and I was like, what the heck is it? Does it take batteries? Like what? What is it? Um, so basically, from the gists of it, you put it's a sanding sugar pen so it says it right here sanding sugar pen and basically it says um, it says remove cap and sifter from sanding sugar bottle screw sugar writer onto sanding sugar bottle blah 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 with sugar writer parallel to the surface gently shake side to side and move the sugar to tip of writer oh okay so you just shake it down and then holding parallel to the surface push the button to release the sugar and lift finger off of button and turn upright to stop flow of sugar so it it says on here works with works with sanding sugars but i think it's just like a more controlled i don't know how you would really write oh it says batteries included i didn't even see that so it must take let's open it up because I am so curious I don't want to like mess up all the packaging now because I want to put it back in here so I don't because it also has a cleaner oh my gosh Ooh. sorry for the noise my dishwasher is running I made a bomb dinner tonight so this is whoa Um, hold on. Okay. So here is, I guess this is for the tip to clean inside of it. I'm losing everything. And here, oh my goodness. So here's the contraption. It says batteries included. Let me say. I'm. Oh, so there's. Ah, almost lost it. So there's a pull tab in here. Okay. And then this goes back on here. Okay. You guys hear it? So, oh, so you just put the bottle, right? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let's see. So let's say this is a bottle of sprinkle sprinkles. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, so and it says like you would shake it and then you Okay, do you guys I'm gonna have to do this in a video. So you would put your sugar in here, but let me see. Hold on okay so this is mm, 
it's a little bit I don't know is this got the same mm, I don't know will this screw on it screws on so instead of pouring unless you make like a particular mix of sugar like certain colors okay so I'm just gonna do it let me see something if I just all right let's experiment so I'm just gonna do it here so it's said to hold this straight and you're supposed to like shake it that's what it said I'm gonna write Ray can you guys see it it's kind of an R I don't know how well you can see it so I'm gonna shake it it is however it is spraying everywhere see if I hold it upside down now see it says not to hold it upside down but I feel like it works better I don't know so let me say so if I do it the way they tell me to but see if I hold it the way that they show hold on here in the picture like here but it's the sugar is not coming out but I have Ray written here you guys see it in the sugar <sighs> all right it is kind of everywhere okay you know what? I'm just gonna clear the slate here now see I have sugar all the way over here I don't know how well you can see it probably better on white hmm so See, I can't see it's level how it should be, but it doesn't work. But if I hold it, see now it's like, okay, is this jammed or something? Hold on. Let me figure this out. All right, let's see. I just cleaned the, see it comes out better this way at an angle. I mean, this is sugar, so it's going to kind of go everywhere, but that's pretty cool. I mean, mm -hmm. right? I'm going to do a star. See, you gotta know, shake it. Do a little star. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of that? So that's from the the pen. I was very, very intrigued by this. Let's see, I'll do a heart. I mean, as you see, you still have flyaway. But it is much more controlled. And even though it says on here to hold it this way, it doesn't work this way. It works at, I don't know what degree angle this would be, but holding it the way it showed, like, there's very little coming out. Very little. Nothing. But if you hold it this way, now if you hold it this way, you will get a little that's falling out. But look at that. It's like so much more. I think you got to give it a little shake. I think before what I would do is before I tip it over, I would tip it over another space and then come back. And let's see, it keeps... I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. That's pretty 
neat, but I like that because this is, so when I'm done with this, all right, so let me see. Let's open this. This is what the inside looks like. There is some sugar in there. So I'm just going to take this little brush and I'm just going to tap it. And I think really all that the motor does is just vibrate it because I can push this little thing the little cleaning brush all the way down i just think that this vibrates it and then this i can sit down i can put the lid back on that and i could go about my life now this is an empty jar that it came with but really they should have just sold this piece let me clean this up yeah so that thing was like pretty neat huh the Wilton sugar writer I just put it back in his packaging because I didn't want it to mess up now the a while ago we'll say I went to Michael's I think I told you that because that's when I bought this um and there was a few things I did buy I didn't buy a lot but I did pick up a few things one thing that I bought myself that I've always wanted was this countless celebrations and it is a cake pan set but it's the marquee like you can do names and letters and things like that so and it shows you like how you bake it where you put the pieces at and then where you use the pieces to cut using the other pieces you use all the pieces um I just want to open this up because I was just curious of how it looks so I'm going to open this. I figured it might would just be easier to show you guys like this way. So I'm going to open this. Okay. So I'm going to end up putting this back in. But these are, oh, well, these are all the pieces. So as you can see, the bottom of the cake pan has these like squares. And I think that those are your, oh, that's a, okay. So. These are like all the little itty bitty pieces. I wanted the, I wanted this. Cause me, I actually prefer to, um, to leave. Oh wow, okay. Um, I like to leave my Wilton stuff in the box. Like after I use it, I dry it really well and just pack it back up. So these are the number, oh guys, okay, like, where's the letters? So here is the letters for the baking pan. So if I wanted to do a letter, um, let's see what letter? Oh wow, this is a lot. <laughs> so so this is basically okay. So here's your pieces. This shows you your pieces that are right here, like these pieces and um it should has them numbered or lettered you should say so um if you wanted to do we'll say we'll do an r for my name so here's the r so you would put this piece i don't want to like mess this pattern up. oh gosh i'm like i don't want to mess it up as i fling it everywhere um so you can see the bottom of the pan better. So the R would be one, two, three, four. Um, so it would be here. So this piece would be here. And then I need piece D, which is one of these. And that would be there. And I'd pour the batter in here. Then after it's baked, I would take shape E, which is this piece. And then I would cut the cake. And I'm assuming that when it bakes, these little squares are on them. So you have the squares as guides. So I thought, I see like a lot of people doing like the initial cakes. But here's the numbers and stuff like that on the back. This I might have to get laminated. I might have to buy like a little lamination set. Because I'm going to need this or else I'm not going to know what the heck I'm doing and uh, be lost. So like I said, I've always wanted this set. 
um, but it's called countless countless celebrations you can do birthday you can do initials numbers um, I think I even saw explanation somewhere explanation point yeah there's an explanation point there's a question mark so I just thought this was pretty cool so I did get this I swear I wasn't expecting to make this really long video I just got this and thought it was really cool and wanted to try it I wasn't expecting to make this really long video okay so oh my camera is oh. okay so the last thing the last bag of goodies that I have is this little bag from my favorite place for caking Michael's um these are not new I just happened to throw these in here I kept two of these these were from the Michael's um, Christmas um, Christmas bag boxes if you guys remember I did that live stream sorry I'm just like a little out of touch I say I'm a little a little out of touch um, and so I did get these I kept two for me I have the rest for you guys look at them in my drawer uh oh I hate when the the drawer doesn't close right um yeah so and i saw michael's post that they have valentine's day ones valentine's day grab bags four dollars with all clearance valentine's so i might go and check it out and see what they got so this is just some things i picked up nothing major um so i did get some pearl dusts and the only reason why because one st patrick's day so i got green and copper is this all no um, I got a black pearl dust, which I thought was really cool, and I got a, um, what color is this? This is a yellow gold, like I have gold, but I don't have like a yellowish gold, and, um, or it might just be yellow, hold on, is this all I got? I think this is all that I actually got. But see, these are so expensive. So when I have extra, this is like $5 a pop. This is $20 I'm holding in my hand. But I, you only need so much of this stuff and a little bit goes a long way. I still have bottles from a while, like a while ago. So, and I will probably have this for a good while. Um, but I love pearl dust. I love shimmery, shiny thingamabobber so like when you do eyes and I have like white shimmery eyes now I can have the black with the shimmery so super excited another thing that I bought that I did not actually have is this um shamrock mold and I'm going to use these for Irish car bombs and um I'm going to make the Irish car bomb cupcakes but another thing that I've decided to do is I'm going to fill these with chocolate and I'm gonna use my candy melt warmer that Kara got me or gave to me and um, so I'm gonna put, cover these with green candy melt and then I haven't decided if I want to put ganache and then put a piece of like um, cupcake or what I want to do yet or put the ganache buttercream and then the cake and then or yeah it's going to be something like that because I think I definitely want the cake last so I'm thinking I should probably put the buttercream in the middle because it's going to be a Bailey's Irish cream buttercream and um I think that should be in the middle so like when you bite down into it you have like the buttercream oh, they're gonna I'm so excited to make them and then I'll probably take my pearl dust and put the pearl dust on top of them so I got them and I did buy, this was actually chocolate. I thought it was black, silly me. Um, I did get this mold. This is for um, clay, but I um, did want this because spring is coming and I do want to try the buttercream method. I'm sure you guys have probably seen this where they take buttercream they fill the molds up and then they freeze them and then you just pop it out of the mold and you put it on your cupcake while of course it's still frozen um because like I said I know some friends that some of my friends they don't like um fondant 
so I'm not a good cake decorator when it comes to just frosting and I that's not my preferred method if I can make it out of fondant I choose to make it out of fondant um, or at least buttercream with fondant accents like all right I'll cover your cake in buttercream and I won't cover it fondant but you gotta let me decorate it with fondant like that's <laughs> where I draw the line um but yeah so like I thought that this was like a nice little array if not like I can just do like a little um because I want to make like a basket I have so many things I want to do <sighs> I just need to stay in the house all the time and do everything this is another thing that I bought it's like what else is in here um, so this is actually a clay cutter. What I'm going to use with this is I'm going to, because it's nice and straight. Um, if you saw my video, let me get them. The tappets. Okay, if you saw my wish haul, you should see that I got these. They're like little borders. This is the grass. We have Easter coming. People are going to want little rabbits in the grass, things like that. But if you notice, this is just the pattern so I would literally literally cut this down to this size press this in the fondant now it is about the size just a little off I just have that much which isn't bad but to get a nice straight cut I'm going to use this and just cut straight down that way it's my lines aren't messed up it is a nice long straight line it's about as long as this so i'm good to go so i did get a clay cutter because i knew i ordered these and i was like you know what i have border makers and stuff that are like this but it's hard to get like a clean straight edge cut so that's what that is for um i got some these are they don't really say they just say gold coins but if you look at them they're just little sprinkles with clovers on them and what I might do with these is I might take a little bit of chocolate glue them on the top of the shamrock molds and all that fun stuff and I also got some shamrock sprinkles and this is one thing that is actually not a cake item well these aren't really cake items either but to me it's all modal mo modeling it's all modeling what's the word of the day modeling for our fondant and our clay it's all modeling okay anyway so i know they're like super expensive but like flower formers you guys know what i'm talking about you make this big flower but you want it to curve up you want it to have some life you want like the leaves or you want your leaves to have like some life to them but the little cups that they have at michael's or this or that they're so expensive just because it says <laughs> like this because it says you tell me what does it say just because it says wilton on it or whatever these you can find in the paint department and these are craft smart plastic cups these are perfect for holding paint or to use as water cups there is one two three four five six cups these were a dollar just one buck and these are a good size you put your flour in there and if you look on the inside And I actually took this over to the um, Wilton department and they're about the same size. But if you see, you see how the sides are like they're round, they're angled. If you have a nice big flower or if you want to like move it up. So like where your flower like can curve this way, but it can like lay flat on the cake. These are great. Or if you just want to use it for like a water cup or for as you're painting. But I, as soon as I saw these, Sorry, my ear was it was dangling my, my ball my ball is dangling um as soon as I saw these I'm like dude those are flower formers they're just a little taller so I was like oh, I'd rather pay a dollar for six of these than pay five dollars for like what one or two flower formers score so go to your paint department 
they are called just plastic cups. All right, so the very last thing that I have is something that, believe it or not, I did not have, which was an angled, um, it's a nine inch tapered spatula, which means I did not have one of these. Can you believe it? I did not have one. I used to, don't know what happened to it. Um, so I now have a brand new angled spatula um, for really getting down and then, and then creaks or cracks and crevices when I do like a shaped cake or something now I can actually get in all those little nooks and crannies and get in there and get the buttercream in there and then I can clean it and then I can get my a fondant all pushed up in there so yes 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 all right guys so that's everything like I said, I didn't get much from Michaels, but tonight <coughs> this piqued my interest. So I had to test it out. And I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's $12.99. I got it at Joann's. I don't know if you can find it cheaper somewhere, but yeah. So those are all my uh, little cake goodies. Um, and yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you guys for watching so, so much. And remember to be kind because you don't know the battle that someone is fighting so don't be a dick please there's enough of them in the world please don't be one also if you like super funny ridiculous stupid little short clips of me acting <laughs> i am on tiktok on day to day ray um and you can see them and also i post them for those who don't want to download tiktoks I do post some of my favorite ones on my Facebook page, Day to Day Ray. All my links are always in the description box. If you want to send me mail, like want to write me a letter, just say, hey, whatever. If you don't want to write, you can type me an email. My email's in the description box. So the what description box? What am I babbling about? <laughs> so yeah, you guys can, y'all can find me. I got my Instagram down there. Um, my Patreon's down there, but I don't have anything on Patreon yet. Not yet. Um, but yeah, so it's just been very, it's been a lot. It's, it's been, it's been a lot lately. So I am now going to run the vacuum, um, finish the dishes. It's only like 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. And, um, yeah, yeah, so I'm going to go do that and, uh, all that fun stuff all right guys i love you so much thank you guys for watching my videos and i will see you guys in the next one bye